G'day guys, this is Captain Noob here again with some more Star Wars Battlefront. Last time we were on the Clone Wars campaign, we managed to beat aggressive negotiations in the Battle of Geonosis, and now we're on to Kamino. So let's get into it. On Kamino, our eventual victory depends. Defend against the Separatist attack, or our clones will be lost. Okay, loading into Kamino here. This is an infantry focused map, so we're not going to have the support of tanks or being allowed to kill a lot of people in a, in a tank or any vehicle, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But we get the new jet trooper, which we'll use to quickly get around to the command posts. And yeah, it should be easy to capture these first two neutral ones here. And once we're dead with him, we might switch to over to a sniper and make sure we take out enemies at range. Just try to rack up as many kills as possible. Make sure the tickets sort of stay us in our favor. We've got 40 extra tickets at the start of the match. And it makes sense because we obviously have a cloning facility here. We've got a bunch of droids probably coming up to meet me here. Might as well spam our six grenades over here. Alright, looks like that's clear. We'll stay around as a jet trooper for as long as we possibly can, but once we die we might switch over to a sniper instead. So, good against stationary targets this primary weapon is. It's an EMP launcher, which is pretty neat. Looks like we're safe to advance here now, so we'll definitely do that. Maybe toss a grenade in here. Okay, there we go. Got a nice double kill there. We'll hide behind this little health droid and regenerate our health. And hopefully make sure we're clear. I hear a droidica somewhere. We'll definitely shoot our rockets at him. Excellent. He goes down. Oh, I'm out of bullets for this. Okay, looks like I need to stand next to this ammo droid instead. Didn't quite kill this dude. Okay. Although we're advancing down the bridge now, so we might actually have a good chance of capturing this command post. Although I bet as soon as we neutralize it, the battle droids will take hold of the other side. Over where, droid? Over where? Okay, now we're dead. So we'll quickly switch over to a sniper class. Oh, looks like there's trouble in the cloning facility. No, there was just before. All right, so they've got that entire wing locked down, so they'll be able to access our cloning facility. Hopefully, we our men will be able to defend it, but it's unlikely, so we'll just give as much sniper support as we possibly can. It's very easy to kill people at range when they're not shooting at you, so... It's probably a simple way to rack up points, I just need to be accurate. Okay, we've got a bunch of dudes Zerg in here. Alright. If I can sit here, this would be a good spot to snipe away. So snipers in this game are hit scan, which means if they're in the middle of your crosshairs when you fire, you'll get a guaranteed shot. Whoops. Okay, we've lost the cloning facility. So we're going to be bleeding tickets like mad and we really need to push up on the objectives now. Kill him. Trouble is though, you can push up all you want, your teammates will never follow suit. So, might as well just support them this way instead, just keeping the battle droid's office. Are they going to jump into that turret? No, they're not. 
would have made them easy kills if they did. I was sort of waiting for it. Get out of my way, clone. He dies. Got enough to kill there. Okay, there's a lot of droids pushing there. So they're spawning out of the cloning facility now, so we're in so much trouble at this point, I don't think we're going to win. But we'll try anyway, why not? We'll just take out as many droids as we can, just around here, thinning them out, thinning out their assault. After that droid goes down, our men have a little bit easier time surviving. He goes down, kill him, kill him. That was a triple headshot turret kill there. They love getting in those turrets, I'll tell you that much. It's a really easy way to farm kills too. So watch this dude get in the turret, will he? No, he was a sniper. Alright, so we've pushed down and got that command post, which is nice. But we're still in trouble having that goddamn cloning facility taken, so we really need to make sure we don't die here. Oh, there's too many targets, I'm not sure which one to shoot. Got plenty of ballot, uh, bullets left, so we won't be needing to run to an ammo droid anytime soon. Take you out. Take you out. Take you out. Almost. They do make it easy when they jump in the turrets, and I'm thankful for that. I don't think these turrets would have seen much use in online multiplayer at all. It just makes you too easy of a target to kill. Oops, looks like I blew up the turret accidentally. That's up to another pilot droid to repair that one. Ammo's kept keeping topped up just by random pilots passing by and dropping me health and ammo, so that's nice. And we're able to go on a massive killing spree here. Looks like the turret's dead there because those floating back tanks are definitely not over a turret. Another droid gets in the turret. Get in that turret, man. Come on. You know you want it. That one definitely wants it. Kill you, and you. Look at all piling around that turret. Everyone's just dying to get inside. It'd help if you stop pushing me around, teammates. Come on. We'll kill you, and you. Alright, so looks like the reinforcements are in our favour again, which is really good. We might actually pull this off, which would be surprising, seeing as we actually lost the cloning facility and had a ticket bleed on us for a bit. Just a couple more to go. I should probably turn my attention over there. No, looks like we've secured that. So this is your main lot of droids over here, I think. Take them out. Take you out too. You can... Oh, looks like I'm completely out of ammo. Anyone mind dying and dropping some sort of ammo crate? Uh, looks like there's a gonk droid over here. He'll give us ammo. Good thing you don't have to rely on support players to drop ammo because I'd never got it. I probably would have just went in the menu and committed death. Committed suicide of this soldier and just spawned in once again. So seven of the dudes left and my aim is going away. So it's probably high time we actually finish this. Look at those pilots with their electricity gun just trying to take out that sniper. 
tell him to tell him to move out. They call me sir for some reason, even though I have, I'm not even ranked. Alright, let's have a look at the map. Where are they? Okay, they're sitting in here. Oh, of course they're droidikas. Well, I'm glad they weren't around wreaking havoc on our teammates before. Hey, we've taken the cloning facility back. Just one more droidica to kill, and that's it. I've got an idea. Maybe if I jump into this turret. There we go. That's it. Game over, boys. Well done. Alright, how do we go for awards? Someone died 12 times. Nice. Public enemy. And not much else. Alright, we'll move on to the next one now. Dooku has begun to set up a long-range sensor station on Renbar. Stop them, we will. And take this station for our own use. Alrighty, loading into Renvar now. This is Renvar Harbor, so we're going to have a little bit of tanks to play with in this one. So, yeah, it should be alright. But I've got a strat for starting this game off, and it involves me being a jet trooper. So we're going to just jetpack out of these ice caves and make sure we start killing people. They've got two unoccupied enemy tanks here. I'm going to steal one just because I spawn a little bit earlier than they do. So quickly jumping into this tank. Come on. There we go. Then I'm going to just reverse and destroy anyone who's going to go into the ice caves there and defend that hopefully. I really need to get this to a health and a health uh, rear vehicle droid, I should say. So let's definitely park it next to here. Uh, kill those dudes in the ice cave just because we got a good angle on them. That super battle droid needs to die. Okay, so they've captured that, which means we're going to be on the ticket bleed once we lose our ATT. So it's imperative that we don't lose it, but the only impact I can have on that is whether this ATT is down, unless I guard around it. But obviously, I don't want to do that because they'll get into the ice caves and start killing us all. Come on, switch the seats, will ya? So I've got that little astro droid next to me working hard, and I've managed to keep the ice caves fairly clear. I think a few got through, but nothing our AI teammates couldn't handle, so that's definitely a good thing, as long as I can keep this command post secured. Actually, I've got a clone in this one, so I might as well jump in that one. Will he drive around with it? I think, yep. He looks like he's keen to drive around, so we'll have control of both tanks. I'm not sure how long that tank will last, but there's an AI in it, which means it'll probably last a while. Better to have it in our hands than some enemy, so... Nothing lost there. Let's just take out all these damn turrets. You can piss off, mate. A couple more running into the ice caves. Couldn't quite get them. Just kill their mates. Kill you. Okay, looks like there's a couple in the ice caves, but we'll just prevent any more from getting in there, and we should be fine. Alrighty, so let's try and make a move on this command post, perhaps. I'm not sure. Okay, we've lost the ATT. We're on the ticket bleed until it respawns. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but unfortunately, it 
they, um, the AI like to drive it suicidally and they turn it around when they really shouldn't and it gets killed a lot of the time so if I wanted the ATT to survive I would definitely be doing something about it looks like our dudes have pushed through the ice cave out to the front here which means we're going to be in good shape if I can keep this up wonder where that other AAT got to probably not around anymore I don't see any other tanks here with us take out those pesky little turrets and that droidica will go down next okay there's the other AAT he's being healed by the little health bot so we'll kill that so we can kill him without having to worry about all of these okay I'm getting rocketed from just about everywhere good thing this health droid here heals you incredibly quickly and I'd like to kill this thing okay I died while trying to defend the ice caves there but now while the thing is close I'm gonna jump into one of these things and do the same thing except this time I'll have a little bit more health regeneration with being a pilot I need to get to those ice caves as quickly as possible. We'll take out as many reinforcements as we can. Okay, that droidica unfolded outside, just outside the cave, so that tells me there's lots of dudes in the caves still defending. These pesky turrets are giving me a hard time. We'll retake that AAT now that we have it. Ice caves are still nice and secure. Shoot you. Might as well get started killing this particular tank, as it's going to cause me trouble down the line, most likely. I think he's shooting at the ATTE, so he's definitely got to get killed before he does too much damage. Okay, so we're winning by a pretty healthy margin at this point. This strat here is a pretty decent way to win, but it's a little bit risky, so and it doesn't work all the time. Okay, we'll make sure to take out these damn turrets so we don't get the screen shake of them killing us. Speaking of which, take you out. Might as well take out the entire turret so another droid pilot has to come along and repair it. Lost the ATT once more, unfortunately, so we are going to have to deal with a little bit of ticket bleed here. But we're so far ahead, it shouldn't mean a whole lot. I think I might take out some of these rocket dudes since the tank has uh, got better things to do than to shoot me, apparently. Should last a little bit longer against this tank now that I'm using the pilot class. As you can see there, the health regeneration is good enough to keep me alive. Just gotta make sure the Astrodroid doesn't get killed. Lots of dudes out the center of at the entrance of the ice cave, so I'll definitely shoot them. That dude was sitting there still, so I couldn't resist shooting him. He goes down. Droid acres pile up there, nice to get a bit of splash damage on them and everyone around them. Can we get a shot on him? Yes we can. Question is, can I get a hundred kills? That is a tough shield if it can withstand all of that, bloody hell. I guess they need to... Oh no, I've taken... The seat's been taken over. Okay, he bailed out good. Okay, there we go. There's 100 kills. Nice. So, they're on their last legs now, all revealed on the minimap, so it's time to go ham and kill the rest of them. Shoot there. 
get some good old splash damage on him. Take out that rolling ball of death. There's a sniper or something up there will kill him. And we'll take them out. Seven of the dudes left. We'll take out that super. Down he goes. Him, you're next. We'll use the main gun on that droidica. Took out his mate with him. One over here, according to the minimap, so we'll get him with splash. Alright, last one's on the stairs over there, and that's game over. And there's me in the background, in a stolen tank. So 110 kills, not a bad uh, game there. Let's see, public enemy, killing spree, yeah, the usual here. Alright, we'll head back now. So, the next battle is the last one of the series, or the last one of the um, Clone Wars era, so we'll do that next time, but until then, thank you guys for watching.